All right, so the second set of uh, terror raids has begun to prepare us uh, to take on Seven Star Mewtwo when he arrives September 1st in Scarlet and Violet. And this one is the show of supporters. Uh, this one focuses on Grimmsnarl, Hatterny, and uh, still Blissey, uh, with different TMs being dropped, but still, you know, terror shards, XP candies, the whole nine yards, all those things being dropped. Uh, so with that, now is the time to uh, kind of take a step back and review not only what the best Pokemon to use for this raid are, uh, but the best Pokemon for this and the Prepare the Offense raid, which will be returning on September 1st as well. So let's take a look at the top two builds that you can use to solo all five of these Pokemon uh, between both raids and just farm farm materials, XP candies, TMs, mints, uh, resources, vitamins, all that as fast as you can. So let's get to it. So for, for both of these raids, uh, whether it is the Prepare the Offense or the Show of Supporters, uh, there are really only two Pokemon that you need to worry about. These are five-star raids, which means that they're not very difficult. Uh, but with them being various Terra types, uh, it can make things a little tricky here. So uh, for these, the best Pokemon are obviously it's going to be Ursaring. We've used this one a million times in the past, as well as Ursaluna. Both Pokemon level 100, both Pokemon holding the Flame Orb as their held item. Uh, Terra type on these doesn't matter because you're never going to get to the point that you're going to use your terrestrialized form. So, with both Pokemon, uh, you're going to be looking at an EV spread where you have max HP and max physical attack. My Ursa Luna actually has uh, max physical attack and max physical defense. Still a good combination adamant nature on both of these guys and your ability is going to be guts uh guts is the ability that makes it so that when you have a status condition it boosts your attack uh which is gonna make this so much easier to do okay both pokemon are running very similar move sets uh the first three moves are the exact same regardless of uh which pokemon you're using and that is belly drum facade and crunch uh pretty easy moves to get on this guy uh facade being the main attacking move for these that is also doubled if you are poisoned burned or paralyzed meaning instead of having a 70 base power move we have a 140 base power move uh once we're burned from our flame orb so strat for both of these guys pretty simple hop in use belly drum turn one regardless of what you're going against you'll survive the first turn's attack uh after that next turn you're going to use facade facade is going to be boosted because of uh, Flame Orb, it's also going to be boosted because of Belly Drum, and Guts is also going to boost your attack one step further. Going to make, just make all of these incredibly easy. So, I know these are builds that we've used before, but it's always nice to have a refresher for these. Uh, Ursa Ring, pretty decent with this one. Ursa Luna, honestly, is probably the way to go if you look at the stats uh, on these two. Ursa, er, Ursa Luna is 412. Uh, and Ursa Ring is 394 on attack. Uh, Ursa Luna also has more HP, so it's going to be the better option if you have it. Uh, if you don't have access to Ursa Luna, Ursa Ring is going to be a good, po just as good to use as well. It may just take an extra turn or so. And as for both of these, uh, the fourth move is kind of optional for whatever you want it to be. It kind of depends on the terror type. I like to leave Play Rough on here, uh, just because Play Rough works really well against a majority of Pokemon in these raids. Uh, and close combat on Ursa Luna uh, is just there because that's the move that I had on it at the time. So those moves are interchangeable. Belly Drum, Facade, and Crunch are kind of necessary for this. But with that, let's see what this looks like in a raid real quick. All right, so here we are. We're hopping into a Blissey raid to start off just because Blissey raids are going to be the ones that you're going to focus on most uh, because they give the most XP candies and the most Terra Shards. Plus, they're the quickest to go. If you have Ursa Luna or Ursa Ring, regardless of which one you have, first turn, you're going to hop in. You're going to use Belly Drum. It's going to drop you down half HP. Uh, Blissey, it's not really going to matter what you're doing. Uh, it's going to do like Seismic Toss, and you're going to see it's going to do like nothing to you. Half the time, Blissey will use Heal Pulse. So after that, you just come in. Next turn, you use Facade. And as soon as you use Facade, you come in. Boom. Uh, most of the time, that'll one-shot. Shockingly, this one didn't one shot. But on this one, we're down to 46 HP. Shield goes up. It's not going to matter if uh, shield goes up this time. 
Uh, yeah. Everybody's gonna come in and just start doing damage here. Any day, we're gonna get burned. It's not gonna matter. We're gonna hop in. We're gonna use Facade. And since we used Facade this time, there we go. Blissey's done. Two turns took like maybe 60 seconds to get this raid done. And now that this raid's done, we can uh, reap the rewards for this one. Which odds are is going to be uh, quite a few fighting terror shards on this. Any day. No, this one we actually didn't get as many as we got. But we got various terror shards, some fighting terror shards, large XP candies, and rare candies, which is always nice to have. And that's it. Once you've got that done, once you beat your Blissey raid, uh, you just hop out of this guy. You're going to watch the crystal disappear as soon as we get out of here. Yep, just like so. Hop on your map. Look for your next little glowing crystal guy. Head on over there and then uh, get to work. This works the exact same no matter with, whether it's Blissey, Hatterny, Grim, Snarl, Scizor, or Hydrogen. Uh, Scizor, Hydrogen, um, Hatterny, and Grim, Snarl may just take a little bit longer to do. Uh, they may not be done in one shot like this is. But that's it. That's all you guys need to know for this one. All right, but there you have it. That is how you're going to um, just absolutely stomp through these prep raids uh, for Mewtwo uh, before he arrives in Scarlet and Violet on September 1st. Uh, these raids, they're all five stars. They're various terror types. They're super easy. Uh, and basically, they're just going to give you the supplies that you need to get your Mew ready to take on Mewtwo. So, but that's it. Use Ursa Ring, use Ursa Luna, uh, whichever one you have access to in the game. That moveset, that build is going to just be absolutely phenomenal, and you can knock out basically your entire map in like an hour. You can clear the map off, and then after that, just uh, day skip, go to the next day, and you're good to go. But that's it. Let me know what you guys are thinking about Mewtwo down in the comments below, because this one, it's looking like it's going to be pretty tough, guys. Uh, can't wait for it, though. That's all I got for you today, though. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.